First you take a wiggly step, then move it to your right. Do the squawk and strut, and dance all through the night. <laughs> Good morning, Tilly. Have you heard the new song from MC Squawk? It's called the Squawk and Strut. No time right now, Freddy. I'm late for my delivery. <sighs> and I just woke up. I'm so tired of doing this every day. Aw, oh, Tilly, I'm sorry you're feeling cranky today. Sing a little song. That usually helps. Wake up, load up, hurry up, turn around. Is this really what it's all about? Another boring day for Tilly Train. Telephone pole, bird. Telephone pole, bird. Smoke on the horizon. Wait a minute! Smoke on the horizon? It must be another train. Can it be? It's been so long. I can't believe it. Another train. And he looks so colorful. Who could it be? I've got so many questions to ask. Where have you been all my life? Where did you get those crazy colors? Did you fall in a rainbow? Oh, here he comes now. Hi, I'm Tilly. What's your name? Larry Locomotive. A circus train. Wow, what a life we must lead. Look, that's the circus there. How exciting. I wonder where it's headed next. Did you happen to see a circus train pass by? Yay long, yay tall, fabulous paint job? I have. The circus is coming here tomorrow, you know. Hooray! But listen, Tilly, we're doing construction on the tracks, so you need to be extra careful tomorrow. But listen, 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 I've sent my two least busy mechanics out to make sure you're safe and out of danger. Whistle, so make sure that you pay attention I've to any seen. signs you see. I can't believe the circus is coming tomorrow. I can't wait. Got another one for you. What's the difference between a chimpanzee and a tow truck? One's a chimpanzee and the other's a tow truck. <laughs> A chimpanzee! <laughs> Too funny! Uh oh, look! We almost forgot to fix this switch. It's stuck. Hmm. Let's try a little elbow grease. Okay, but we ought to hurry. It's starting to get dark. I don't think we're gonna get this switch unstuck tonight, Robbie. We'd better head home. But Freddy said we need to finish. We'll come back tomorrow, oh. before the circus. It's not like there will be two trains on the track at the same time anyway. You're right. Ooh. Tell another joke. Why do birds fly south in the winter? Because it's too far to walk. <laughs> it's no use. I'll never get to sleep. Larry is coming in just a few hours. Move, clock hands, move. <gasps> I know. I'll meet him halfway and surprise him. Hold on to your cargo, Larry. Time to meet the new spontaneous Tilly train. But first, I have to sleep. Tilly. Larry Locomotive. <sighs> I'm so glad to meet you. There's so many things I want to show you. We'll go everywhere, from the mountains to the jungle, from Alabama to Zimbabwe. Whatever we want, no more timetables. Beautiful. He's a train with so many colors. He's not like any of the others. He's Larry Locomotive. He's Larry Locomotive. Oh no, I overslept. Larry's probably on his way already. Where are you off to so early, Tilly? Gotta run, Freddy. I'm going to meet Larry Locomotive halfway today. Tilly, wait. There's a broken switch out there. The tracks aren't safe. All right, Larry, here I come. 
Was that Tilly? Yeah, and she's headed straight toward the broken switch. Emergency services? Oh, okay. Over and out. Listen up. Tilly's on a collision course with the circus train. We've got to save her. Roger that, Alice. Let's go, Fiona. It's action time! There he is! Larry! Hello there! Oh, look. That nice train I saw. But she looks like she's coming on my side of the tracks. That's not good. <gasps> Tilly, stop! The switch is broken. <gasps> the switch! It's in the wrong position! Hey! Stop! The switch? Gotta hit the brakes! Tilly, brakes! I'm trying! Oil slick. Okay, here goes nothing. Close one. <sighs> Tilly, we're so glad you're safe. And your friend, too. <laughs> Larry, I'm Tilly. I'm so glad to finally meet you. I'm sorry it had to be like this. Tilly, what were you thinking? You could have been badly hurt. Now let's go back. Okay, let me just turn around. Please, sir, Tilly just got too excited. May I speak with her alone for a moment? I'm sorry, Larry. I put you in danger. I was so bored with my life that I just wanted to do something exciting and unexpected, like you would do. Like I would do? <laughs> I wasn't always a circus train, you know. I used to be a regular freight train, just like you. In fact, I think we might have been made in the same factory. No way! How'd you end up with such an exciting life? <laughs> I used to get so bored doing the same routine every day. Like me! So I joined the circus. But then I found out, even in the circus, everyone's counting on the train to get them to the next show on time. For trains, being dependable is the most important thing in the world. Really? even if you're a circus train. Tilly, you're safe, and you've brought the circus with you. Let's start the show. Thanks, Mr. Mayor, I'd love to, but tomorrow night, what I need's a good night's sleep, so I can put in a solid work day tomorrow. That's what being a train is all about. Great thinking. On with the show. Hooray! Yay! Seems you really learned something today, Tilly. I sure did. Tell me, Larry, do you have any boring circus tales for a bedtime story? <laughs> boring stories? Too many to count. This one time, the circus owners gave me the wrong timetable. All the sixes and nines were mixed up. Can you imagine? I had to switch them all back again with a little tiny pencil to get things right. Then I lost the pencil. <laughs> <sighs> I looked everywhere. This took a while, let me tell you. First I looked by the crates, and then I looked at the window, and then I looked at the door, and then I started looking at the floor, and then I looked at the ceiling. Still no pencil. Can you believe it? What a day. There, all sorted at la, huh, huh, at last. Trabby dabby doo, trabby doo dee dee, trabby dabby dabby doo. How you doing, Percy Post? Achoo! Not so good, Calamity. I've caught a cold. My Achoo! air filter is all stuffed up, and I'm already late for my rounds. Rounds? You should be resting, not working. A postman never rests. Everyone depends on me to always deliver the mail correctly and on time. Achoo! Oh, if only there was someone who could deliver it for me. Hold the phone. Why don't I just deliver it? You? I don't know, Calamity. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, um, well, okay. Just load the packages onto the cart in the same order and it should be easy. Child's play. And if it does get mixed up, the names are written on them. Nothing to worry about. I can do it. 
Thanks, Calamity. You're the best. <laughs> the best. Trotty daddy do. Trotty daddy. Wah. Spider. Oh. Wet mail. There. Same order. Probably. Possibly. Definitely. Wow. I can't read a thing on them now. No worries. They are all sorted in the right order. Calamity Post Pro is on his way. First time you're traveling by yourself, Kara? You nervous? Yeah, but mostly excited. I've already sent a letter to Aunt Betty telling her I'm arriving today. I just hope the letter gets there on time so she'll know to pick me up. As long as Percy's delivering the mail, you can rest assured it'll get there on time. Hop on now, Kara. All aboard! Morning, Mr. Mayor. Here comes the post crow. <laughs> Calamity? Is Percy Post off today? Yep. He's sick, so I'm helping him deliver. And doing a pretty amazing job, if I do say so. Here you go, Mr. Mayor. One for you. And, uh, one more. Take care now. Oh, oh, uh, thanks, uh, you too. <gasps> a letter and a party streamers. I will, today, visit you. Will be fun, fun. Oh, someone's going to visit me today. It must be an important person. This can mean only one thing. I have to throw a party! Hooray! Hiya, Betty. Your handsome and efficient new postman is here with the mail. You're the postman today. How nice. Anything for me? Well, let me see. How about this? Sure, why not? This one's yours, I hope. Oh, it must be my new plant food. Perfect. The mayor was just here to order some flowers for the party at City Hall tonight. Have you heard? I'm so excited. It'll give me a chance to try out my new dance move, the trunk a crunk. Ha <laughs> ha! The trunk a crunk. Smashing. You can count me in. See you later, Betty. Trunk a crunk. Cha cha cha. Trunk a crunk. Cha cha cha. Here we are, Kara. But where's Aunt Betty? My letter told her when I'd arrive. She must be on her way. Wait here. Don't go anywhere till Betty arrives. I gotta roll. Okie dokie. Thanks for the ride. I'll just wait here. Trotty dotty Yahoo! Who's better than me? I'm the best mail carrier there ever was. Ah! It's empty. I'm done already. Wow. I'm even better than I thought. Now back to the post office to tell Percy. He'll be so happy. Where's Aunt Betty? I don't think I can wait much longer. Wait, I'll just go to Aunt Betty's on my own. How hard could it be? Ooh. <laughs> Look at that. Here, kitty kitty. Wow. Uh -oh. <gasps> Sorry, my bad. Ooh. Oh. Man, I hope Percy Post comes with my caution tape soon. I can't leave the hole without caution tape. Somebody might fall in. But it's way past lunch and I'm starving. I guess I could leave real quick to grab a snack. Really quick, I promise. Hi, little bee. Ouch! <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> wow, look at that! <laughs> ah! Help! I heard Mr. Mayor is planning a party today with some kind of big celebrity appearance. Sounds exciting. Maybe it's a movie star. Emergency services? Yes? Oh, I see. Over and out. Listen up. Little Kara has fallen into a hole at the construction site. For some reason, there was no caution tape. Sounds like she's in deep trouble. We'll pick up Tommy Tow Truck on the way. Yes, hurry. It's action time! 
feeling better, Percy? Yes, thanks. A little rest was just what I needed. Free from the stress of delivering the right packages to everybody. Stress? It was a breeze. Oops. Hey, I heard there's a party at Mr. Mayor's today. Come with me. Kara, are you okay? Fine, but I can't climb up. Don't worry. Tommy will help you. I'm on it. <laughs> Thanks. How did you end up here, Kara? Are you all alone? Yeah, I sent a letter to Aunt Betty that I'd arrived today, but she wasn't there to meet me, so I went on my own. What's going on? We just pulled little Kara out of this hole. You should never leave a hole unattended, Digsy. Oh, no, you see, I was waiting for my caution tape in the mail, but it never came. It was foolish of me to leave the hole, though. I'm sorry. I just went for a quick snack. Luckily, no one was hurt. Now let's take Kara to Betty's. Oh, oh, stop it! Oh, my, these are some lively flowers! Hey, Betty, how are you? <laughs> Other than getting crocodile vitamins instead of plant food in the mail, great! Oh, Kara, what a surprise! We helped Kara out of a hole. She had sent you a letter, but I guess you didn't get it. No, but considering Calamity filled in for Percy today, that's no surprise. Calamity Crow? <laughs> well, that explains it. That's why Digsy didn't receive the caution tape either. <laughs> I was just on my way to the party at City Hall, although the mayor will probably wonder about the flowers. <laughs> Follow me. That's odd. The streamers look just like my caution tape. Do you think so? I got them in the mail today. Did you say the mail? That's been the cause of all sorts of problems today. What? You mean I received the wrong mail? There's no special guest coming today? How about me? I arrived today. Oh my. Well, fantastic. I guess you're my special guest. Welcome, special guest. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought I delivered every package right, but it turns out I only managed, let's see, carry the five, none. Huh. Sorry I was such a terrible postman. It's okay. It all worked out. If you didn't mix up the packages, there wouldn't have been a party. You're right. I may be a terrible postman, but I'm a brilliant party planner. And an excellent dancer. Trunk a crunk, everyone. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to be so beautiful. What is that, Mr. Mayor? What? Haven't you heard? Oh, of course not. I haven't told anyone yet. This is where the new statue of the town's founder, Crandall Crankcase, is going to go. There's going to be a huge unveiling party tonight with mini donuts. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, Tommy! There's the vehicle I've been waiting to see. I need you to head over to the neighboring village and bring back the statue for tonight's party. And rush back here as fast as you can. The whole party, I mean the whole town, is counting on you. So get going. Maybe Tommy shouldn't go too fast. He has to drive safely after all. Yes, 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 go slow. But go slow very fast. This is a rush order. If you insist, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor, are you sure it's safe oh, to- Oh, I forgot. The mini donuts. I must see Benny right away. Okay, then I better get going. <clears throat> All right, Benny will need 60 mini donuts. 25 should be jelly and the other 50 should be glazed. Uh, but Mr. Mayor, that's 75. Then make that 100. Oh, but what about those mini quiches? Yum! Two dozen. No, six. M instead of the donuts? Oh, mini micro strudels. Precious darlings, what if we did 2,000 of those? So which is it? Donuts? Quiches? Strudels? Oh my stars, mini maple muffins! Yes, yes, yes! But yes to what? Yes to what? Well, I'm off. And remember, Benny, this is a rush job. Oh my, that was confusing. A little to the left. Now to the right. I wonder 
what sort of entertainment there should be at our Crandall Crankcase party. <gasps> entertainment? I would love to sing a song to Crandall Crankcase. I have a beautiful voice. Oh, dear Crandall! Oh, dear Crandall! Oh, dear Crandall. Oh. <laughs> Here you go, Mr. Mayor. I made it here in record time. What's under the sheet? Why, it's the statue of Crandall Crankcase. But I can't tell anyone, not even you. It's going to be a big surprise at the party. Well, I think you just told me, Mr. Mayor. Oh, I'm so terrible at keeping secrets. Voila! <gasps> this isn't Crandall Crankcase. It's obviously a woman! Tommy, you took the wrong statue. I'm sorry. I was in such a rush, I guess I wasn't thinking. This statue belongs to the other town. It's their founding mother, Petunia Piston Popper. Petunia, Petunia Piston Popper? Does this mean you're going to cancel the party? What? Never! I can't disappoint my public. We need to swap these statues right away. But how? Aha! That's it! Harry Hot Rod! Can you help me, please? Hmm? I need you, Harry. You must coach Tommy on how to go fast. Really fast. What for? I need him to return the Petunia statue and pick up our Crandall statue before the party starts. But I don't like to go that fast. What if I overheat? Don't worry, Tommy. You've got the best speed coach in town. Let's ride. Drive like a race car, Tommy. The party depends on you. Come on, Tommy. Start your engine. Come on, Tommy. Faster. You can do it. You see that snail? Yeah. Well, you shouldn't. Everything should be one big blur. Then you know you're driving fast enough. Okay, I guess. Attaboy, Tommy. Great work. Hey, this is kind of fun. Woohoo! Whoa, oh yeah, this is great. I'm a race truck. Yeehaw! <laughs> Tell the snail I said see ya, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for me! <sighs> Made it! Great, Tommy. Let's swap the statues and race back. Done. Let's go. <coughs> this speed doesn't feel safe, Harry. Maybe we should slow down a bit. No time for that. First one through the tunnel wins. All right, you're on. Woohoo! Dusted your hutch, old Tommy boy. Tommy boy, where did you go? Harry, I'm stuck. Emergency services, yes. Oh, I see. Over and out. Listen up. Tommy's stuck in the tunnel between here and the neighboring town. Oh, no. What a jam. Yes. You'd better hurry on over, heroes, because it's action time. Hello? Tommy? Over here. This is all my fault. I was going too fast. Now I'll never make it to the party in time. Uh, it's not working. We need to try something else. Uh, I'm stumped. Oh, maybe I should quit being a tow truck. I can't even complete a simple job like this. None of this is your fault, Tommy. After all, you didn't want to rush in the first place. It was the mayor that insisted. You were just doing what you were told. Maybe. I just feel so small. Small? Wait a sec. If there were just some way to make Tommy a little bit smaller, then maybe he might fit through the tunnel. Got it. Tommy, let some air out of your tires. Then you won't be as tall. Brilliant. I'll try it. Yes! Now I can fit! 
and the statue is all right. Let's get to the party, but this time I'm going to drive normal speed, even if it means I'm late. Party! 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 There, there now. We have to wait until... Oh, here they come. Hooray! There and perfect. Yes, all right. Tommy, go, nice Tommy. work, Tommy. Well, it all worked out. Tommy, I'm very sorry I made you rush. It caused more trouble than I realized. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. And next time, if someone asks me to do something I don't feel safe about, I should be brave and politely say no. Say no to the mayor? Outrageous! But probably a very good idea most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> time for a little song. Oh, dear Crandall, we lift our lights today. Oh, dear Crandall, as solid as could be. Maybe not as solid as he looked? Oh, dear. I'm frightfully sorry, but it seems the party will have to be cancelled for today, so we can repair the statue. Aww. We will hold it next week instead. Yeah! And in the meantime, I hereby announce a party cancelling party, starting now! Yeah! <laughs> Two parties are always better than one. Hey, leave some mini muffins for me! <laughs> <laughs>